Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at niftyhomestead.com, and they have a very informative article on winter squash harvest and storage tips. First up, they go through all the, not all, but many of the different varieties of squash and how they taste and what kind of recipes they could be used for, but I'm not going to talk so much about that. I'm going to be talking about how to grow it. It's a very long crop. Unlike summer squash that can be ready in 60 or 80 days, Usually winter squash is a 70 to about 120, 130 days, depending on the variety and the weather. And you're going to want to harvest them before the first frost, because after they're frosted, they tend to rot a little bit more quickly. And see how the stem is removed from this? You don't want to remove the stem completely from most squash, because then it will rot faster. It will have more surface area to release the moisture out of the stem. With that said, you don't want to rip the stems either. You want to have a nice clean cut to, again, limit the amount of surface area where moisture can escape. Now, this looks like they're, picture, they're getting ready to cure the squash. For about a week after you pick the squash, you're going to want to uh, rub it with a little bit of bleach water. Very, very little amount of bleach with a lot of water. The ratio's in this article. And just wipe it down, clean it off, and then leave it in the sun for about seven days. Not too hot, but, you know, in the nice fall temperatures. And then it can store for months in the right conditions. Now, the right conditions are usually between 50 and 60 degrees Fahrenheit, of course. And a somewhat humid location and dark you need to make sure they're not touching though because if they're touching each other then they can rot quicker you also don't want them directly on a hard surface i was looking for pictures online i saw this picture the squash are separated by pieces of parchment paper it looks like parchment paper so they're not touching each other and it's not on a hard surface a hard surface isn't good for them it's on cardboard so this could be a great simple method to store your squash you could also possibly hang the squash from strings if it's like a butternut squash it's got a little uh, neck on it you can wrap a string around that and hang it upside down you could also maybe put it in a mesh netting and hang it from that netting a lot of different ways to do it but again i will link to this article in the description if you want to read more about it i'll give you some cooking tips last you can just put the whole pumpkin or squash right in the oven on a sheet tray make sure it's a sheet tray that can collect a little bit of liquid, otherwise it will spread liquid all over your oven. And you can just bake it like that. And just kind of par-bake it, and maybe put it in a casserole. You can also cut them in half, hollow them out, roast the seeds, and then stuff the, the uh, squash with some cheeses, some meats, and some veggies, and then bake the squash that way. Lots of different ways to cook it, eat it, enjoy it, and store it. But first, got to grow it and harvest it the right way, cure it, and then store it so you can enjoy it later on. Again, I will link to this article in the description, and if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.